Hello, in this video we're going to cover what I think is a good relative way to grade a high grade comic book. Now, the head of CGC grading has said that for higher end, higher grade books, they use more of a deductive way of doing it. In other words, they'll find a, de a defect or two defects and they'll deduct a grade. They'll find a couple more defects and deduct a grade and they'll just keep deducting that way. Whereas more lower grade comics is more of an art form where they'll just eyeball a comic and say, that looks like a 3.0 or that looks like a 5.0 or whatever. But once you get above grade 8, 8.59, they're using more of this deductive way of doing it. And they'll start every comic when they look at it. This is a 9.9, .9, a 10, whatever. Yeah, right, 10. But anyways, they'll deduct based on what they see. So how, what's, a, what's a systematic way of, of looking at a comic to make sure you don't miss anything, right? So this is the system I've come up with. And it's worked good for me um, since I've been back to collecting again. So first thing I do is I look at the corners. So I'll just gently pull a corner up here and we'll take a look. And as you can see, that corner is generally sharp. I don't think it's 100% perfect though, but it's pretty sharp. Um, you know, sometimes you'll find a book when it was cut originally, it, it's all of them are kind of cut a certain way and maybe it's not as sharp. Now the bottom one looks, as you can see, that thing is perfect. It's sharp. Top one, maybe just a negligible tiny ding. Now we're going to use that terminology, negligible, minor, moderate, you know, major and significant, those type of things. So I'll just briefly tell you what I define a negligible versus a minor defect. A negligible defect is one that is there but it kind of takes magnification or really looking at it to see. And when you have a minor defect, is it's clearly visible there, but it doesn't really detract that much from the overall appeal of the book. And like a moderate defect would be, it's very obvious. It's like in a bad spot. It's a, it's, it detracts from the overall presentation of the book. A major one would be something that significantly detracts and makes it like, eh, you know, I don't really like that. I may not even buy that, you know, that type of thing. It's a major defect and it will, once you have a major defect, it gets you way down automatically to like below mid-grade, uh, you know, mid-grade and below. If you have one major defect, you know, we'll talk about that as well, you know, um, as, you know, what kind of defects are allowed. We'll do that in other videos. But for this one, we're going to stick to high grade, which is basically what we have here. I mean, you can just look at this book until it's high grade, right? So, okay, so we got a negligible defect on this corner, sharp corner here. Um, this corner has a ding. Um... As you can see right there, I hope it's showing up good in the video. Um, it's minor. That's a minor ding. It's definitely there, um, but it, it, it doesn't really take away from the appeal of the book, but it's definitely there. It's a minor ding. Um, down here, um, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. There's no ding or anything. That's just like a bindery. It's not um, anything caused by being damaged, I think. Um, so we got the corners. The next thing I look at is the edges. Um, I'll just go around all the edges here. Maybe a tiny negligible ding here. Pretty good all the way across there. You just want to run your finger. Don't be afraid to touch the comic a little bit. Make sure you wash your hands good with normal soap and water before you touch a comic. Make sure they're dry. Um, you don't need gloves or anything like that to do this. And then we'll look here. I don't see anything on that. So. We have a negligible, negligible, minor defect there. Um, next thing we do is I always look at the spine. I'll run my finger down. Uh, there's a tick there, non-color break. There's another tick there, non-color break. That one could be a minor break, but it's one of these where I probably have to use some magnification. But there's a tick, there's one there. And if you really want to do this, you can get it down at an angle. I don't know if it'll show up well in the video and you can see what you see here. Um, you can definitely see the dings I was talking about. I mean, I'm sorry, the, the spine ticks. So there's a handful of spine ticks and potentially one with color break. And what I usually have to do is bring in the magnification and look at it. And yeah, if you see right here, um, there's a very negligible minor color break right there. And I, once again, I use that word negligible. And the reason we do that and there's a negligible color break there as well. Um, so two negligible defects, actually five negligible here. You can almost discount regular spine ticks that you, you don't, if you have to do all this stuff to see a spine tick, 
it's like half negligible, I would say. Um, it's a defect, but it doesn't count nearly as much against you as ones that you can clearly see that break color, right? Okay, so we have negligible, negligible, minor, and we have a handful of negligible here. So if you start, if we start doing some deductive stuff here just based on the front cover, oh, the last thing we look at, I'm sorry, is we look to see if there's any kind of dings to the actual cover itself. And uh, any kind of handling wear, or anything like that. Now there's a couple thumb, where somebody's put a thumb here and turned a page, probably me back when I was a kid, because this is I've had this since I was a kid. Um, so yeah, negligible handling wear here, so that's another defect. And uh, I don't see any kind of pitting or dings or any other bends or anything like that. No rips, tears, none of that stuff. Okay, so this right here, you could have this and have a 9.8, right? So that's what I kind of start. I just start. I have a 9.8 here. 9.9, whatever. That's going to take me down to just a 9.8. That one I could have a 9.8 still. But once I get to this one, I'm in 9.6 already territory. So I've already ruled out 9.8 on this book. Okay. Two of these color-breaking spine ticks. Maybe two of them that are negligible, you could have a 9.8. But because we're already at 9.6, this is going to take me down to like the lower end of 9.6. You know, so we're now borderline 9.6, 9.4 range. And I say with this handling wear, which could be pressed, we're already in 9.4 just from the front cover here. So I'm going to say this is 9.4, you know, possibly 9.6 after a press. So what we need to do now is turn the book over and do basically the same process. And a lot of times, you know, we also need to look at staples. I didn't do that, but sometimes the staples are more visible on the front. Sometimes they're more visible on the back. Um, but, you know, we'll look at that here in a second because I think they're better on the front on this one. But I didn't see anything on the staples anyway. Normally, if you're looking for spine ticks, you'll see the staples, stress on the staples as well. Um, same thing, we'll look at the corners. That corner is really sharp right there. Um, this corner is sharp. Um, don't see anything on these spines. Same dang that we had on the front. That's just one defect, though. So that minor one's still there. Um... We'll look up and down the spine. It's a white spine, so things don't show up very easily. Um, so obviously we're not going to have any color breaks in the back. There's a couple dings, but those are also the same ones present on the other side, so that's just one defect. And so I don't really want to count that against so it. We're still at 9.4 based on this back. Um, we'll see if there's any handling wear. There's a little tiny bit of handling wear here. And this bend, right? there's a slight bend right here. But I still think we're in 9.4 territory now. Um, it's kind of like if you have tiny bend, tiny bend, tiny bend, it's not enough of accumulation to cost us another point. So we're still 9.4, potentially now borderline 9.2 range in my opinion. Um, so what I do now is once I have that, you know, done, I'll just open up the back page here, make sure that coupon or whatever is present. So I'll look at the back cover on the inside, you know, just make sure there's nothing I obvious like tears stuff missing. I get a feel for the overall page quality. This one's definitely white pages. I don't see anything. I'll go through the whole book, you know, um, just very carefully. A lot of times I'll go through half the book or, you know, almost half, and then I'll turn it over and do the other half. The more weight you get in your hand over on the right hand side or whatever, the more likely you're to cause some more damage like bends, the more weight you have to hold with this thumb. So it's better to like turn it over and look at half the inside. But you know, going through this right now, I can tell there's not going to be anything in the interior. In fact, I've never read this book. I bought this book off the shelf just to collect. And, uh, you know, I I didn't read it. You know, a lot of the books I collected back in the day, I didn't read. I just wanted the first 10 issues of the series to collect. You know, I had a collector's mindset even back then at age 12 or whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, by the way, to turn a book over, as you can see, you make sure you sandwich two boards together. This is the way I do it. That way there's no spine stress possible and you're not bending anything else that's not already bent. So based on what I just saw, um, I'd say we're at a 9.2 right now. And I always err. Like if I'm borderline 9.24, I'm going to err on the side of caution. Um, let's look at the staples real quick. There's maybe a tiny stress here. And there's another color break right here that I failed to notice, and that one's pretty obvious. Yeah, that one's going to detract slightly from the book. So that's, I don't know if it even, it may not show up that well on camera, but you can definitely see that spine tick right there. This this corner's been hit 
pretty hard at some point. The comet could have been dropped, whatever. But there's a ding here and there's stress right here. And that's, the combination of those is, is kind of almost moderate, but not really moderate. It's not going to take us down too much, but it's definitely, I would say this is a 9.2 book. You could even argue this is a 9.0 book. Um, but I think the overall presentation is good enough, and we have deducted enough to worry about that. So overall, we probably have, what, 10 or 12 defects on this comic. I don't think it's enough to get us an 8.5 or 9.0 range, so I'm going to say this is a 9.2 book. And I think after a press, we'll probably get the 9.4, but I don't think 9.6 is ever going to be possible with this stress here. And, uh, you know, I could definitely see this being pressed, sent off to CGC, and coming back a 9.2. I could see a 9.4. Um, I don't see anybody arguing for a 9.0 in this book, so but it, I wouldn't be surprised. if 9.0 to 9.4 is where this book is going to land, and you can see how we use this deductive process. So we've covered everything. You know, we got corners, spine, staples, inner parts of the covers on both sides, and we while we're on the back and on the front, we, we thumb through it, we look at the pages, we check for tears, we've, we've checked the edges. So we haven't missed a trick on this book. So whenever you have a high-grade book that looks like it's in the 8.0 or higher range, doesn't have any obvious major moderate defects on it, always use that deductive style. This is what CGC does, so this is what we should be doing. So every time you find a defect, just kind of take it down a little bit in your mind. Um, I think they've also, what I've noticed looking at comics, graded comics, is generally you'll have up to three defects, negligible defects on a 9.8. You'll sometimes see outliers where four or five defects are present, but usually it's that two or three before you get to a 9.6. And generally the way I see it is if there's, if you got three color breaking spine ticks, but you have to use magnification to see it, you still could get a 9.8 in that book. So if you hold a book up and it's perfect and you really have to look hard to find a couple, three negligible defects, it can still be a 9.8. You know, once you use magnification, you find like 10 defects, it can't be a 9.8. I'm not saying it doesn't happen because there are errors made by CGC. Everybody knows that. But for the most part, it shouldn't be that way. Once you get above three, four negligible defects, you get in a 9.6. And you can have one or two negligible, maybe one minor defect for a 9.6. If you have a couple minor, like this and this, you're already in 9.4 range, in my opinion. So, you know, you could see three or four negligible color breaking ticks and a ding and a little corner thing negligible and still have a 9.6 but you're getting very close to that borderline 9.4 it just depends on the opinion of the grader that day so i hope this video was helpful if i missed anything or you have any comments or questions you know or have any ideas of better ways of doing this please leave it below in the comments thanks for watching we'll talk to you again